Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. It really saddens us, uh, Sharon and I, to continue to have to uh, witness the tactics of Satan working through people such as Jan Boshoff and Brother Justin and, and others on YouTube. My friend, if we don't get to trust Jesus with all our heart, He's going to say to us one day, no way, I never knew it. Because once you start doubting God, you're on your own. You doubt Him once, you're not going to go back to Him ever. About the Holy Scripture, the Word of God. And <clears throat> Jan made a video yesterday or the day before called uh, Substitution Prostitution. And it was just a real blasphemous video. Now, you need to listen to this video and, and just hear out what the Lord wants to speak to you today, okay? Because the Lord is wanting people to understand fully uh, what His Word, the Holy Scripture, teaches us. And Brother Justin would have you know that it's only the, the, the Word spoken okay that is the word of God and if he doesn't give it to you then it's not you know the word like and they they both say the Bible is not the word of God in a proper sense okay but what they fail to tell you and they do not explain to you is that the scripture is the scripture of truth okay so it can be trusted okay and it can be relied upon for truth, okay? See, Jesus said out of his mouth to the Pharisees that John the Apostle wrote down at the remembrance of the Holy Spirit. Jesus said to those Jews, okay, what did he say? He said in John chapter 8, okay, he said in John 8, the Lord Jesus Christ was speaking and he said, this to those Jews. Verse 31, Then Je said Jesus to those Jews which believed on Him, If ye continue in My Word, okay, Logos, okay, if you continue in My Word, something said, okay, see when we read the words on the page, they are the Word of God, something that was spoken, okay, see, so that makes it the Word, it was spoken out of the mouth of God, okay? If you continue in my word, the word that was spoken and then written down, okay? See, the apostles and the prophets wrote down what God spoke to them out of his mouth. Do you understand that? See, they don't tell you this, okay? They lie to you, they make it seem like, uh, these men just kind of were sitting around meditating and they kind of had a feeling that maybe God meant this or maybe God meant that and they just wrote down all these words see but that's not how it was it was the Lord speaking to them okay see Jan says that the Lord speaks to him Jesus talks to him every day every minute of every day Jesus is just holding this continuous conversation with Jan and Jan's hearing his voice all the time okay and so Jan steers you away from the Scripture, steers you away, okay, from seeking out men and women of God, true men and women of God, to help you in your journey along the way. He says to you, and it's not really Jan speaking, it's not really that man, whoever he is, speaking to you, it is an evil spirit speaking through him, okay, channeling through him, all right? And he's speaking and dissuading you from getting sound advice and counsel. If we go to any other source for guidance, for light, for insight, for wisdom, it's prostitution. Because we are substituting Christ. See? Only listen to that voice. See? Only listen to that voice. 
Don't go to the scripture. Well, that's the same thing the Catholic Church teaches. We trust in other things. If you trust Jesus, my friend, you won't go somewhere else for a reply. You won't check on God. You won't say, well, which scripture is that now? It's the same thing that a mighty wind ministry teaches. Go to the prophet Elizabeth Elijah, see, and get the word of the Lord from her. Because she is the one receiving the word of the Lord in this hour for the church. Okay? No one else. And if you if you say that what she's receiving or the fruit that you see in the ministry is not of the Lord, which it isn't, okay, a lot of it is not of the Lord. The fruit is certainly not. Hatred, hatred for lost sinners, you know, going to hell. Instead of breaking the yoke with the, the word, hallelujah, Jesus quoted the word to the devil. He said, it is written. See, Moses, the Bible teaches us, the scripture, that God spoke to Moses face to face. And then when Moses went out of the tabernacle, Joshua stayed in there. See? And then when Joshua came into the land, okay, and they were going across the Jordan, the Lord appeared to him, the captain of the host and spoke to Joshua face to face. Joshua wrote down, see, and recorded what was spoken, see. And then when you get to Ezra, he was a scribe, he was a historian, he wrote down what was going on, see, Ezra, see. He wrote it down, see, Ezra. And then Nehemiah, Ezra recorded what Nehemiah's actions, okay? And all these truths contained in the Holy Scriptures to benefit us, to, to glean from, to say, Oh Lord, give me more, 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 more of that good bread, that good bread, hallelujah, that brings life to my soul. See, because the Scripture has to be believed. If you don't believe it, it is nothing for you, okay? But the words are still valid. They, have, they contain so much life, so much life. But Jan Boshoff, Final Call 07, okay, would ha would steer you away from the Word, steer you away from godly people who will help you in your walk. See, everyone struggles in their walk at one time or another. All right? So you have to be able, and even Brother Justin said this in the video he made, and I forget the title of it now, but he said that, the scripture is, is it's like a backup, he said. It's like a backup. you got to back it up with the scripture. Well, that's right. But see, everything Jan speaks and says, you can't back it up with the scripture. See? Jan was saying about reading books and, and don't go into books. If you go and read a book, or if you, uh, you know, and he was referring to the Bible, he even held up his Bible. Or if you go to someone else, or if you go to a person, then you are prostituting yourself you are being a prostitute that's what he said in the video it's evil and you people don't see it because you have a spell cast over you and I pray father that you break the witchcraft spell off of your sheep those sheep Lord that belong to you break it off of them O God in Jesus mighty name by the blood of Yeshua hallelujah by the blood of Yeshua listen to this okay I just looked I just typed in the word counsel Okay, on a search, just in one book, the book of Proverbs, okay? And verse 1, chapter 1, verse 25. But ye have set it not all my counsel, and would none of my reproof. That's the Lord speaking through Solomon, okay? That's advice, okay? By implication of plan, also prudence, advice, okay? Here we go. Proverbs 1, 30. They would none of my counsel, they despised all of my reproof. Proverbs 8.14 Counsel is mine and sound wisdom. I am understanding. I have strength. Okay. Praise the Lord. That's the Lord. See who has that. Now, the Lord leads us today. His sons and daughters are led by His Spirit. See? And getting back again. The Spirit spoke to the writers of the Scripture. Okay. So that word spoken is filled with life. See? If you receive it. If you don't receive it as being life to your soul and bread for your hungry soul, okay, to fill you with the life of Christ, then you don't get you don't get it. I rather go ask my friend. I'll ask the pastor. I don't. Have, I don't trust what Jesus says to me. Who is this Jesus? I don't read you in the Bible, man. I'll go check where 
What he tells me is really true. Yeah. 